Long before education was a municipal responsibility, Sheffield pioneered in the education of all ages. It now has one of the most closely integrated systems in the country, and the local authority, whilst respecting old and proven strengths, is alert to all new developments, new techniques, like this language laboratory at a college of further education. And in that newly expanding field of preschool playgroups, there is more pioneering by authority and voluntary organizations in healthy cooperation. Education is not merely vocation orientated. There is guidance in the use of leisure for all ages. In the new polytechnic alone, there are over two and a half thousand evening students. The oldest of Sheffield's existing hospitals was opened in 1797. One of the newest opened royally on the threshold of the 70s. No less than 10 of the city's hospitals now have the status of teaching hospital. And at the university there are large schools of medicine and dentistry. The children's hospital enjoys a high reputation nationally. And even if this city is like the rest of the country in not yet having solved the current problems of old people, at any rate, the task is being tackled, and ungrudgingly. East or west, the sea is never far away. An easy route for export and for import, for businessmen and for tourists, like these Swedish girls following in modern manner the path of their Viking ancestors. In 1847, Sheffield refused to welcome the Royal Agricultural Show. There was then no room for so many visitors. Today, there is plenty of first-class accommodation and a civic pride in showing off the city, both its new developments and its old and golden frame of beautiful countryside. The city lies on the borders of Yorkshire and Derbyshire and at its western edge the boundary embraces part of the great and beautiful Peak District National Park. Here, as well as open country, are stately homes and castles to be visited, no less than 16 of them, open to visitors within 25 miles of the city centre. Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood's country, is only a few miles away. Of all my merry men, said Robin, by my faith I will none have, but little John shall bear my bow till that I want to draw. And little John's big grave is in the village of Hathersage, but five miles from Sheffield. Fisherman's country, walker's country, the Dale. River valleys eaten out of the limestone by persistent waters. Dovedale, Lathkill, Beresford, Monseldale, the beautiful dale. You may walk to the very brink of such beauty that only poets and artists can do descriptive justice to it. From the countryside, there are other pleasures. The cuisine to be tasted, the shops, old and new, a city to be explored. And if for a moment you are lost where to go, there's always someone ready to advise, especially perhaps if you are long. For every visitor, dark or fair, from near or far, there are good things to be found in the customary buying of souvenirs.
made in Sheffield. There's more than enough to satisfy anyone's taste and pocket. There's more to Sheffield than can be discovered in one day, even with the help of refreshment and the friendly spirit of the local. After all, there are people who live in the city and are still exploring it. It's got a long life. It'll still be there tomorrow.